and welcome back to another episode of Backpack Bushcraft. Before we get into what we're doing today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so I got my pants on. Uh, basically, how I want to test these is I just want to do... Oh, I felt it rip. <laughs> uh, I did just show you uh, a clip of me trying my pants and I, you heard a rip. What was happening was I, I have attempted to sew these pants once before. And I thought my stitch worked pretty good. But it turns out it did it. You could hear the rip on the camera. So uh, instead of showing you the footage of me the first time doing it, which was a fail, I'm going to just go in here and uh, redo it all. Uh, I'm using uh, the upholstery thread. I'm using uh, uh, the uh, Smith & Son needles that we reviewed uh, this week. Or maybe last week, I can't remember. I don't know when this will come out. Uh, but I'm going to use those. And uh, basically all I want to do is uh, try to fix this hole here. Now, I could put a patch over it. Uh, that would seem the easiest way to do it. But actually what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to invisible uh, sew this. Basically, I'm going to try to sew this so that you can't tell that there's something wrong with it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. Uh, before this rip and we'll go all the way up here above the rip what happened last time was I sewed right here in the corner and sure enough when I bent it ripped open so remember when you sew you will sew below and above the rip uh, but what I want to do real quick is just put this on time lapse that way y'all can watch it and you'll have to sit here all day I think I got it right this time. I sewed below it and I sewed above it. That's actually really bad for a tongue twister for me. Okay, so we're going to just... Um, we basically want to lock this in place. My thread is real curly because actually I, when I have excess like this, I like to just wrap it around the needle. I know it's probably really bad. Uh, but I like to do that just so I don't have to waste. And we'll put another one in. And now we will try for a second time. I think I got it this time. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a crease, but that actually is where it's sewed. It's not perfect. Uh, this one's frayed up above it. You can kind of tell, so it'll probably rip out next. I already got two other pairs of these uh, being sent to me via Amazon. But uh, yeah, we'll try this out. This should work. Uh, and I'll explain my testing uh, technique now. I'm not going to lie, I really don't want to test this because I don't want it to break. I think I got it this time. So what I like to do is I just like to do squats. Alright, that, that worked. I was nervous, but yeah, I think that worked. Uh, but I just like to do squats. Uh, anything that you're going to be doing, any way that you're going to be using your pants, you basically just want to make sure that you're still able to do your job, that they're not hindering you, and that, that you're not putting them in, I guess, a wear-tear situation. If they rip, especially in cold weather, that could be really bad for you. So uh, I'll probably wear thermals tomorrow. Even though it's not going to be so cold, just in case I do get another rip. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in to this uh, sewing special for Backpack Bushcraft. Next week, we're going to do something uh, even more exciting, if you can believe it. Probably watch paint dry. Uh, but I do think this is important for you to see. I do think it's something that you all should learn a lesson from. And the best lesson I can teach you is this. You know, make sure you maintain your gear. Make sure that it's up to code. Make sure everything's working well. Uh, you know, this rip wasn't so bad, and I was able to fix it, patch it up, you know, five, ten minutes. But it could have been a lot worse had I had, you know, been in the field, or had it been even worse in the field. And that's what I'm trying to work on right now. I want to make my skills uh, so good that I'm as comfortable sewing it in my house as I would be in the field. And to do that, I use the gear that I would have in the field in my house. Um... Speaking of gear, uh, I only used uh, my Camillus knife for all the cutting needs. I used the size 13 uh, needle from W. Smith & Son, and I used the upholstery thread. Uh, I didn't use anything else. Well, guys, that'll do it for this episode, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Backpack Bushcraft. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Gmail at Backpack Bushcraft. You also check out the website where I now post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. EST. And that website is www.backpackpushcraft.com. And until next time, guys, keep those fires burning. Put a lot on them.